all Aquariuses, welcome to your love reading for March 2021. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me um, just send me an email or a DM, and we can certainly set that up. And then make sure you click on the link below for the video link of what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in this spread, I'll also have something you do not know about them, in addition to if they may be interested in somebody else. So let's get going. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Aquarius's love energy is March 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine for your messages? Any messages you have will be greatly appreciated and we thank you for Aquarius's love energy is March 2021. Can you please show me the general energies that Aquarius passed out of prior to? We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Check out my playlist in there, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions. What is your ideal career based on Midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner Sun Sign? Challenge Edition, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ask me a question on Instinct Go, on the Instinct Go app. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Advice, we have the Four of Wands in the upright. I don't know. I heard find your fairy tale and like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Rather, I sensed. I don't really kind of hear. I sort of sense it. Um, alrighty. And moving forward, we have the seven of swords in reverse. Okay. So we start off and it seems like there's some sort of inequality going on regarding a connection or an association. You don't really feel like you're kind of giving back um, what you're putting into it. Uh, maybe you're paying the person a lot of attention and they aren't paying you any mind. Um, it could be emotional investment you're putting in and they aren't giving you anything back. You could be buying things for this person, like, you know, giving them gifts and stuff. And they're like, oh, thank you. And then, you know, nothing in return. So, um, that's kind of what the Six of Pentacles is. You know, you you expecting something back from somebody and they just, you know, don't have the time of day or don't even think about that. Or if they do, there's usually like a condition or a catch associated with it. Hey, I'll give you this if dot, dot, dot. So that's what I'm kind of getting and you don't seem very happy with that, I'm sensing. Challenge mission, Ace of Swords in reverse. You're really not sure what to do with this and this is the challenge. You're really confused. Um, how should I move forward? Should I stay? Should I go? Um, because of their actions, um, everything's kind of cloudy. It's mostly confusion because you don't understand, um, you know, why this is coming about or what you're doing to cause this, or they seem like they're a little bit erratic. So, you know, that's part of the problem. And I, and I do feel as though um, it, you're dumbfounded and confused as a result of it, and you can't really kind of sort it out. So that's challenging for you. Um, when I got hold out for your fantasy, or I felt hold out for your fantasy, that's what I was getting for advice. You know, you don't have time for this nickel and dime stuff. I mean, hold out for the person that you're really going to be happy with and cherish and, and you know, is, is willing to put roots down and get serious. This person doesn't seem very serious. Um, you know, the four of wands is when somebody is like, you know, I really enjoy being with you. Let, let's make something happen here. Let's either move in together or they give you a promise ring or they have you meet the parents, um, something in that regard. So they're telling you to hold up. Um, um, hold out for that person. Forget this dog and pony show over here that's kind of going on. And as you move forward, um, it's funny because I almost feel like this person, if you do move forward, they're going to reveal things about them. All of a sudden, they're going to want to, they're going to want to be truthful with you. I feel like all of a sudden they're going to be like, oh, you know what? And, and kind of admit things that they've done and where they were wrong. And, um, you know, in, in an attempt to make it better. Um, and, and that's whether you, you're holding out for somebody or not. I just feel like they're going to try to try to reveal to you things. But I'll wait for the clarifiers on that. So why is the Six of Pentacles here in the upright for Aquarius? Is, who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse? Yeah, you're trying really hard. I don't know if you're trying really hard to get their attention or to please them or make them happy or get attention from them or whatever. You're, it's too much. It's too extra. You're putting too much into it. Um, and you're the one doing all the work. You're the one that's, you know, trying really hard and they're just kind of, you know, coasting or sailing through or, like I said, not even paying you any mind at all. So what fun is in that? Um, so the Ace of Swords are reverses, like, where do we stand? Where are we going? I mean, this, this doesn't, this doesn't feel good. 
Um, why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? Who is this person? What's this energy? Um, yeah, so the Two of Wands in reverse. You, you don't feel like, you know, this person is um, would be a good partner. You don't feel like you can make plans with them. That That's what the problem is. Um, and that, I mean, that's what the challenge is. You don't feel as though you could plan stuff and they're going to follow through. You don't feel as though you could um, communicate things to them and they're going to do something about it. Um, it, it and, and it's just somebody, like, they're really unreliable. It's it's not anybody that you really should be doing business with or playing around with or what have you. Um, and, and again, I get unpredictable again. Like you don't know what to get erratic. You don't know what to expect from them on the day to day. Um, you know, and that's a little disconcerting. Okay. Why is four of wands here in the right for Aquarius? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the four of wands in the upright for Aquarius for advice. This card is just staring at me. Okay, so that's why it's staring at me. They're telling you to hold out. Uh, you're going to have many suitors, many people that are going to try to talk you into something, and they're saying, know what you want and hold out for that. Fight for what you want. Fight for the love that you want. Um, fight for somebody to be worthy of the love that you want. And don't stand for anything less. So don't don't settle. Um, pretty much say, hey, this is what I deserve. And, you know, everyone can come at me with, the again, the dog and pony show or nickel and dime you or what have you. And you're standing there opposing this, saying that you deserve better. So that's good to see. And they want you to do that. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse for Aquarius as they move forward? Who's this person with this energy? Additional messages for the Seven of Swords. As Aquarius moves out of March to April. Okay, so they lost you and they're not really happy about that. Um, they're, you were actually what made them feel confident and you're the one that put them on the pedestal and you're the one that, you know, really gave them attention and, and made them count. So once you kind of take that out of the equation and you see them for who they are, which is part of what the, the expose is here, you, you kind of see what's up. That's when they decide to be forthright and, and tell you things um, in an effort to, you know, um, give you what you want, so to speak. But I feel like you're like, well, I already knew this. I mean, thank you for telling me. I feel um, justified that I was right the whole time about you. Um, but, you know, too bad. Because the only reason they're coming back is because they feel their, their confidence is shot now. And, you know, you aren't giving them attention, so who is? Nobody's acknowledging them. They're just kind of, they think, they thought they were totally fantastic here. Um, but as they move forward out of March to April, that's not, that's not the case. They're not getting the attention they think they're worthy of and, and, and deserving of and people fawning all over them. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading and just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Otherwise, make sure you click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll also have something you do not know about them in addition to if they may be interested in somebody else. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.